Hi YouTubers, it's Carrie Emmy. I wanted to come back and do another Broadway review video. Tonight I would like to review the Gershwins, Porgy and Bess. I wanted to give it some love because it's closing pretty soon. And I'm sure you can guess by that statement that yes, I did love it. Um, I have to admit, being the uh, Broadway theater lover that I am, I didn't know a lot about Porgy and Bess before I had seen this. Um, I knew the big, you know, popular songs, like I Got Plenty of Nothing. And um, I had actually never seen or heard a production of Porgy and Bess before, so I didn't really come in with any preconceived notions. I came in to just uh, enjoy a night at the theater. I mean, who, who wouldn't like the Gershwins if you're predisposed to love musical theater? So, hello. So, I loved it. First of all, before we get into the performances, it is a gorgeous production. The set is kind of sparse. There's not much to it. But I want to just completely clap it up and commend the production team because so much is done with so little. Um, the use of lighting and just a few props here and there can invoke different settings and emotions and you're just completely invested and involved and I think that the the sparseness actually can it adds to the um, impact of the performances because you're not focusing on a lot of um, clutter you know visual clutter you're focusing in on the performances and it just makes everything so much um, vivid and sharper and uh, emotionally evocative. Listen to me using my SAT words. Um, going into the performance as well, I mean, everybody, everybody, everybody in this show is just redonkulously talented and sing like friggin' angels. But um, you're here <laughs> to just watch a short video, so I'll give you the tidbits about the people that you really want to know about. Audra McDonald, first of all, she is just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And again, I mean, hearing her sing live, it's, oh, her voice is just, that must be what it sounds like in heaven. She is gorgeous. She is such a fantastic actress. Everything that I've seen her in, you completely buy her as that character. She's just so good and such a chameleon. She just sucks you in and you just believe that she's anybody that she's playing. The one and only misstep I've ever seen her do was, quite frankly, I thought she was a little miscast as Dina in the concert version of Dreamgirls. I know a lot of people have said that, still think she's fantastic, but anyway, she's wonderful. I love her. She is just gorgeous, will move you to tears, just layer upon layer upon layer of the performance, and she's singing in the original keys. It's just like, oh, you couldn't ask for anything more to invoke the Gershwins. Norm Lewis, Norm Lewis, oh, so gorgeous, too. And the two of them, I mean, just look at this picture. They have such chemistry on stage. And I think you can tell just looking at this picture. I mean, they, it's just like, oh, it's electricity on the stage. This, the moment they share space together, you just can't take your eyes off of it. And the both of them singing together. Well, Norm Lewis also has the voice of an angel. Oh, the final number when he, oh my God, I was like, I needed a box of Kleenex. He's fantastic. Again, like like Michael Cerveris in Evita, I've loved him since I saw the Who's Tommy. I think he, he played a bit part before he became really big. So good. David Allen Greer is a revelation. Oh my god, I loved him. He's fantastic. I this is the first time I had ever seen him perform live. Now, I grew up with him in, in Living Color, so I've always loved him. Always saw he was hysterical and hilarious and do the two snaps up. But he is such a talented performer and singer, and his um, interpretation of sport and life is so compelling. 
and it's just like it's up there with Cap Calloway. He's that good. He's really, really, really that good. So some purists of Corgi and Bess may have some quibbles because um, it is a very abridged version. The original version of Corgi and Bess is close to four hours when done in the you know proper operatic way. Um, I understand that some of the uh, music, some of the plot points are sort of condensed into dialogue. So you may have a problem with that if you are the kind of person that <laughs> prefer it to be, you know, Andrew Lloyd Webber and sung the whole way through. But, t you know, t t taking it for what it is, it's gorgeous. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Run, do not walk, especially since it's closing soon. So, <laughs> in closing, um, just fantastic, gorgeous production, fantastic night at the theater, emotions galore, talent galore, go see it. And this has been <laughs> Carrie Emmy with your Broadway review. Good night, everyone.